Periscope. I do hope that you came here tonight ready to receive, ready to have an encounter. When I began to think about what I was going to speak about tonight, the scripture that came to me was, whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Tonight I want to ask you, have you tapped into what's in your belly? Have you tapped into the rivers of living water that is inside of you that if you truly have faith and you believe the Bible says that whoever believes in me as scripture has said rivers of living water will flow from within them so the point is to say you have life living down inside of you you have the ability to pour life from your very being this means that your ability to to speak life and produce life and have fruit is already resting on the inside of you if you really believe and you have faith then you know that you have rivers not one river but rivers as in plural rivers there are rivers of living water resting down on the inside of you all you have to do is tap into it all you have to do is tap into that in which god has resting inside of you there is a infertile situation going on in our world there is a infertile situation going on in this time where we are fake faithing when you have real faith you don't have dead places because it says that it's rivers flowing through you within you that the very spirit the very refreshing life birth is on the inside of you already are you drinking from your river? Do you have the ability to drink at all? Have you put yourself in a situation where there is no water in your river because you don't really believe? It is time for you to go deeper. It is it's time for you to go deeper into the oceans because if you are in a dry place and you are not flowing, it is safe to say that you do not really believe. Because those who believe, it says whoever believes, whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within. God, I pray right now that you would touch your people, that you would touch their faith, that you would touch their belief, God, that you would touch the very vessel of them, God. I know that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above anything they can ever ask or think. So I pray, God, right now that you be belief for them, that you be power for them, that you be faith for them, that they have supernatural faith to believe that you are able to do it. God, I pray that they would tap into the rivers of living water that you have planted inside of their belly, that whatever it is that they have desired, God, that you would connect their desire with their delight in you and that it would produce fruit, supernatural fruit, fruit that begins to change the world and bring about a revolution. God reign. Rain your river that we might be able to encounter the river and receive the river and then be able to produce from the river that is you, God. Stretch your hand upon our very belly, God. Allow us to receive the life. Allow us to receive your Holy Spirit. 
God, allow us to receive your power. God, allow us to receive your healing. God, we speak life. 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 To the very belly of everyone under the sound of my voice, God, we speak life that they shall believe and produce from this river. I pray, God, that you would untie their tongue of faith. God, open their mouth. Open their mouth, God, that they might be able to speak power, to believe power, to produce power, that whatever it is that they are desiring from you, God, be that for them. God, whatever it is that they are crying out for you, God, answer it. You are the author and the finisher of faith. Therefore, if we trust and believe in you, whatever we ask in your son's name, it is already so. So whatever request they have, whatever ask they have, God, answer it. Seal it, God. Seal it with your power. Seal it with your anointing. Seal it with your glory as only you can. God, we want the water. We want the water. We want to drink and never thirst again. God, we need your glory. We need your glory to fall down on us like never before. We are thirsting after you. We are thirsting after you because we desire something better than this, something bigger than this, something that is higher than this. God, we we release our control over our plan. We release our hold over the plan that you gave us. God, we release control. We release the control that you might order our steps. God, order our steps. Order our steps because we desire to be in order. We desire, God, that you would make the crooked path straight. God, that you would search, search our hearts, search, search our hearts and remove anything that is impure, that is unholy, that that would hinder us from being able to produce God. We speak for the infertility mindset that we have grown and developed in God. We destroy infertility by faith. We destroy infertility in the spirit. And in the natural, we destroy it. For you said that we are to be fruitful and multiply. That anything we ask in your son's name and stand in agreement for God that you will show up. So I'm asking you, God, that you would move move for the barren womb move for the infruitful infruitful being God move shift us into the ability to produce shift us into the ability to produce God have your way have your way for you are indeed Alpha and Omega, El Shaddai, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Shema, God, you are Elohim, you are Alpha and Omega, the Rose of Sharon, God, you are the very controller of fire and light. God, whatever it is that we have had in our head, God, Whatever it is that we have been dealing with on the inside, that has been impure, that has been unholy, that has not been right, God. The thing that has made us doubt you, the the thing that has made us fault you, the thing that has made us blame you, God, the thing that is in us that that causes us not to be able to believe so we cannot tap into the water. God, loose it. Deliver us. God, deliver us. We say yes to your plan. God, we say yes. Yes to your way. Whatever, whatever
whatever you would have us to do, God, whatever you would lead us to do, God, we say yes, that we deliver ourselves to you, that you might crucify our flesh, God, and move us by your spirit and your spirit alone. We want to be vessels. We want to be vessels for you, God. That our flesh be your flesh. That our spirit be your spirit. That, that our love be your love. That our connection be your connection, God. That we be real with you. That we come as we are. Broken, fragile, bleeding, hurting. God, we need you to wash us. Wash us, God, from the impure thoughts that would try to creep in. Wash us, God, from the demonic forces and spirits that would Try to come into the portals, God. Wash each Shorabaya. Send your river of watching for the souls and the minds of your people. God, raise us up. Raise us up as it is your plan to raise us up. Raise us up as it is your purpose. For you died and rose so that we could die and rise, God. We crucify our flesh for the very sake of you, God. We we crucify who we are. We crucify who we ever wanted to be, God. We crucify our desire. We crucify our vision, God, for whatever your will, whatever your vision, whatever your desire, whatever your plan, God, forgive us. Forgive us for planning something that was not your plan for for not walking in your will but creating our own will and then trying to put your stamp on it god we're sorry that we would try to shift your plan for us into our plan god remove us so that your perfect will can be complete we're all yours god we lift up our hearts and our souls and our minds and our spirits. Would you just rain on us, God? Would you rain on the suicidal thoughts? Would you rain on the depression, God? Would you rain on death, God? Would you rain? Would you rain on the dry bones, God? Would you rain on our faith, God? Rain on our gentleness, rain on our meekness, rain on our self-control, God? Rain! Rain. As it is your your heart's desire not to harm us, God, for us to hold our peace and you will fight our battle. God, you said that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper, God. So forgive us for not trusting in your ability to hold the weapon back. God, forgive us for nursing the enemy's attacks instead of falling in love with you. God, forgive us for not believing that you were good enough to put us against the standard. God, forgive us. Forgive us for not tapping in. God, forgive us for taking too long to tap in. Forgive us for not enduring, God. Forgive us for being okay with running reckless, God. Forgive us for not wanting to be in order. Forgive us for not being able to go through pain, even though you went through the pain and the sacrifice that is higher than any pain that we could go through, God. Forgive us. For not acknowledging that you died on the cross and got nails in your hands and your feet. And that you came for us for love. That, that you came to wash our sins and, and to give us forgiveness. God, this is the moment that you died on the cross for. This is the moment that you died on the cross for, God. That we be able to repent unto you. So in this moment, God, we repent unto you. 
We trust in you, God. We trust that you are able to do what you said. We trust that you are able to heal. We trust that it doesn't matter what the doctor says. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. You are the physician. You are the doctor to the doctor. You are the savior to the savior. You are the healer of the healers. You are the fighter for the fighter. You are the high and you are the low. You are the around you are the all that you are you are everything that we need you are everything that we need you can face infertility you can face cancer you can face AIDS you can face paralysis you can face death you have done it all we're sorry for giving the credit to the test and not the tester God, we believe what you said, that your word cannot come back void. Your word cannot come back void. Your word is that the flower may fade and the grass may wither, but the word of the Lord will stand forever. So God, everything that you spoke on us, we believe it to be so, for we know that your word, your word cannot come back void. Give us supernatural faith, God. Remove our mustard seed mentality and raise us up to believe in you in a way that is supernaturally almost incomplete. Comprehensible God, allow us to believe in you in an unprecedented way. God, allow us to believe in you in an epic way. God, allow us to believe in you. God, allow us to believe in you. It's not our fault. These were the tests and the trials that you brought to us that we might build endurance so that we could be complete lacking nothing so god from this day forward i pray that you give us strength give us strength god to bear the storm give us the strength to bear the storm god to hold the weight Give us the strength to hold the weight, to, to bear the furnace. Give us the strength to hold the cross, to reach the top of the mountain, that we might be able to receive the crown and the promise. God, help us not to be weary in well-doing. Because in due season, in due season, in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So God, when we feel, thank God, would you just increase our strength in that moment? When we lose our faith and get a little shaky, God, will you stabilize us, God? Remind us, God, that whatever you said, it shall come to pass. Whatever you said, every promise, it shall shall come to pass whatever idea whatever dream whatever thought whatever purpose whatever power it shall come to pass we decree and declare that your work shall go forth and that we shall complete it and we will endure we will complete a good work because you have completed a good work Have your way, God, in our lives. <coughs> Have your way in our lives, God. We believe everything that you said. We believe, God, everything that you promised. We believe, God, everything that you sacrificed so that we could receive the promise. We believe, God. We sacrificed ourselves for you, God. God, we pray for the turmoil in the world. We pray over the turmoil in the world because of the lack of belief in your ability, God. 
We pray for the turmoil in the world, for you also hold the government in your hand, God. So I pray, God, for the government that you would take your rightful position and that every hindrance that is blocking you from being able to control the government be canceled out. Devil, we rebuke the very principality of you that you would try to drape over this world. We destroy you at the root. You will not win for God is who he said he is and he will do what he said he will do. So we pray for every war. We pray for every fight. We pray for every death. We pray for every life, God. We lift it up to you. We lift our homes up to you. We lift our houses up to you, God. I stand proxy for everyone on this periscope. I stand proxy as their home. I pray, God, that you would wash their home from top floor to bottom, from the side to the walls, to the walls, every carpet thread, wash it with your blood, God. Remove every demonic spirit, every spirit that is not like you. Wash it away in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you would go to every high place that the enemy would try to hide and you would remove every principality from the high and the low place. God, I pray that you would seal every portal in their homes, every area that the enemy once seeped through. Shall you seal it with your blood, God? Give us the strength to be able to stand as the power of our homes. We thank you, God, for you have the power to make all things new. So, God, we speak to the very mattresses in their homes, to the very cushions of the couches, to the very rugs on the floor, to each kitchen appliance, to the very garage, the laundry room, the trash can, God, every piece of their home that has touched anything, God, we pray that you wash it, wash it white as snow, remove every evil demonic force, place a firewall of your glory around around every house on this phone, God, as they stand in agreement for your power and your purpose. So shall they be sealed with the hedge of protection like never before. God, cover their homes as you covered Job's home before his suffering. God, cover their finances as you covered Job's finances before his suffering. God, Cover their house and their children as you cover Job's children before the suffering God. And after they have gone through the test, the trial, and the suffering God, I pray that you give them a 10,000-fold, a 10,000-fold blessing based on their ability to endure. So shall their endurance match that in which they receive after they have endured God. You can give a baby to a woman without a uterus. So every woman that is tuned in to this, that is looking to receive a baby, God, I pray that you would match my faith with their faith and that you will produce it and it shall come forth in due season if they do not reap God I pray that as they have sown that they shall reap and that if they do not reap that you would provoke them to sow more faith that the more faith they sow the bigger they shall reap God I pray for their children's minds their children's hearts, their children's schools. Wash it all. Clean the slate, God. Make the crooked path straight. Have your way, God. Bring us forward. God. Push us forward. Iramayandi God, thrust 
Push us forward. Ishora mayandi okora basha. Isiora basha yandeke. Iram ora basha yadeke. Ishora mayandi reosa. God, push, push. Fresh, fresh us forward, God. Have your way. Have your supernatural way in our lives from this day to the last day of our life, God. Do not allow us to miss another rain. Do not allow us to miss another glory. Whatever season you are moving in, God, don't allow us to miss the season, God. Have your way. Have your way, God, in each and every person's life under the sound of my voice, God. Have your way, your way, and your way alone. Move every mountain. Move every obstacle. God, we cancel mustard seed faith, and we speak mountain-sized faith, supernaturally-sized faith, God, that destroys every yoke. We destroy every generational curse. We destroy every ill mindset. God, I asked that in the closing of this prayer that you would hit restart on us, that you would hit reload in us, that you would hit remind in us, that you would hit respect in us. But God, more importantly, would you hit reposition? Hit reposition in us and place us in your perfect will, your perfect purpose. And God, we say thank you. We say thank you for it is so and so it is. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his light shine upon you. And may you meet me back again next month for the next prayer periscope. God bless you. Father God, we release the armor of heaviness. Lift yours. God said he is opening his hand. Press your way. Press your way. Move people out of the way. It's your seat.